Hi, good morning. My name is Dr. Ben Benham, a board certified dermatologist. I specialize in acne scars. We have one of our lovely patients here today who uh, is here for her second TCA scar treatment. Um, and I'm just going to answer some of the questions. She does have some of the white frosting on the face because we've already done the treatment today. Uh, but we'll ask her about her experience from the first uh, TCA cross treatment that we did about five to six weeks ago. So hi, hello, welcome, thank you for joining. Thank you. So we did the TCA cross about six weeks ago. So first of all, tell me, was there a lot of pain or inconvenience when we put the chemical peel on the face? No, actually it just, um, it stings for a little bit and then it just dissipates and then you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. So once we put the chemical peel on, we first of all target and focus on where the acne scars are because what happens is that the, the TCA chemical peel stimulates the collagen production within the acne scar and basically fills it in. Uh, during the office, basically you're going to see the, TC, the areas of TCA cross, they turn a little bit frost and the frosting typically goes away in about like an hour or an hour mm -hmm. or two. Right. And then the areas scab up and the scab kind of typically stays around for about a week to 10 days. How many days did you have the scab for? It was just about a week, and I had a major conference that I went to and okay. for work, and it didn't hamper me going or anything like that. So okay. it didn't. It doesn't make you stay in the house. You can just do go about your normal life. Perfect. So um, and then overall, so it's been about five to six weeks. How much improvement have you seen between the acne scars so far with one session? I would say thirty to thirty-five yeah. percent. Um, in those areas where I was really seeing a lot of shadow and pitting, th that's starting to get smoother, and I can see that those areas are raised. And I mean. So I was like, I'll do another one. That's a no-brainer. So so initially, we're thinking of doing like one chemical peel session and then doing a laser resurfacing, but we actually ended up doing another TCA, TCA. today. Mm -hmm. And why do you, why was that? Because you probably you saw the good improvement from one session, right? Right. I felt that if I could do some more of that spot improvement prior to my laser, I'd get even more co better correction. Yeah, that is so, true. So um, I'm going to believe the doctor and do what he says, you know, because I always know best. Wrong. But, and then <laughs> do a set you know, maybe another one of these to raise all those scars so that the laser will do an even better job. Yeah, I do agree. I think in the old days we used to do laser resurfacing, laser resurfacing first, but now uh, kind of the idea is to actually try to fill in those deep pitted mm -hmm. holes or indentations with the chemical peel and then you do surfacing on top. That actually tends to work better. Mm -hmm. So 30-35% uh, is actually a little bit better than expected. I think on the average people get about maybe 7, 10 or 15% per session. Uh, but some people do better than others, you know, and the result varies. So, well, I'm very happy that you got a great result. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.